Hello everyone out there on YouTube. How you doing? This is Simply Love chiming in this morning. It's a great morning. It's beautiful. It's sunshine and the birds are tweeting. They're, you know, giving out their communication. Um, it's just an all-around beautiful day. I hope you guys are doing well. Now I have a, a video here that I like to talk to mostly the women about and you know if men are watching you know that's fine too because this may be very helpful to to men and it's very helpful for men and women so what I'm here to talk about is um, uh, identifying men okay identifying men in general now the, the three type of men that we have here now are healthy men which is the divine masculine. We have broken men, which are just a, a man. And we have toxic men. And I'm going to break all of those three things down for you. So first of all, let's talk about the healthy men. Now the healthy men out here is, is that man that is, uh, they're, they're like in sync with, with their spirituality. You know, they, they, they are introverted. They, they, they look inside. They, they, you know, look inside the God in them. They're totally connected with mind, body, and spirit. They are like whole, okay? They are, um, they are the type of men that know why they exist in this universe. He's a type of man, the healthy man is a type of man. He knows why he lives. And he loves and he's in love with women, you know, womanhood. Okay, womanhood in general. That you know, that means their mother, their 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 mothers, you know, any type of womanhood. Their aunts, okay, um, their their children, the, the the their children that are women or their girls. They're all in tune with the womanhood. A healthy man is in tune with womanhood. Period. And any man that's in tune with womanhood is a healthy man. I'm not talking about uh, a womanizer. I'm talking about womanhood. Women in general. The respect that they have for women. The love that they have with women. And why? Because they know why they exist. He knows why he lives. He is in sync with his spirituality, mind, body, and soul. So, you know, a healthy man um, is whole enough to support his woman. He's whole enough to support all that his woman is. That's a healthy man. He's not ashamed to, you know, uplift her. He wants to uplift her. He wants her to be the best of, of, of version of herself. Why? Because he's in tune with himself. If he's in tune with himself, why wouldn't he want to be in tune with his woman as well? So he's healthy, you know, he's healthy, you know, enough to, um, to support all his women, okay? All the women in his life. A healthy man, you know, you know, if they had, you know, relationships, what well, we all have, several relationships, they don't, um, even if it was toxic or bad, a healthy man does not bring that type of energy into the next relationship. They learn from it, they heal from it. And they keep a positive attitude that things will be better. And they will if he's a healthy man. He's in, Remember, he's in sync with his spirituality. He knows why he exists. He's whole enough to support that his woman is. Now, regardless of what happened in the past, a healthy man doesn't talk about or downgrade the toxic woman that he used to be he'll take that lesson learn from it with from within remember the healthy man is introverted they're spiritual 
they know what they want they they um they give their all they respect women so this healthy man if he's been in other relationships he's not going to go he's not going to talk about that woman in a negative way to anybody that's a healthy man we need to recognize we have to break these things down so we can be healthy and choose healthy too. Now, a healthy man, what you guys got to realize this as well. Before you open your heart up completely to any man, you need to listen to his words. You need to listen to his words instead of delving in and, you know, opening your heart and, you know, because it, it brings all kind of toxic, toxic energy because you leap to you leap too fast. You're not listening. You're just wanting. It's an exterior exterior thing. So you need to listen to his words. Listen to his word language. OK. Because an unhealthy man will use language to tie up, you know, to get a soul tie with you. If that makes sense. It makes sense to me. An unhealthy man will use language to tie your soul up. They will build you up and then slam you right back down to the ground. It's, it's, it's an up and down thing. That's, you know very unhealthy that's why you have to you know when you, you first of all well i get to that in the end i still got that in my presentation but you have to be aware of man's language you have to pay attention you have to have your third eye open and decipher and i just broke down what a healthy man it is not it's not really that much it's very it's it's simple basically it's really simple but these unhealthy men and these broken men and these toxic men, you have to read between the lines. You have to really listen. You have to have a conversation before you open your legs wide open, before you open your heart, heart so open. Listen to his word language because, you know, he could be a smooth talker. He could smooth some shit over to you and put it in a way where it's, you know, um smooth okay it's smooth it, it sounds good but if you really sit down and pay attention to that man's language someone who an uh, unhealthy man you'll find out that they bring you up they put you on this pedestal and the next thing you know they slam you they slam you down and that's going to be an ongoing process because why you were mesmerized and cultivated by his language. He may sound good. He may talk good. To be honest with you, I'd rather hear a man, you know, with a, with a few curse words in there because that's telling me, you know, he's, you know, pretty grounded. He's not trying to finesse me with his words but he's coming up too proper and too prim and too good those words sound so good and and his voice sounds so good with those words men know how to do this now some men know how to do these these ones that are unhealthy knows how to do this and you have to decipher the difference you have to know you have to be aware and, and that's you know and i know i'm not saying anything here that i don't know or haven't experienced myself I, nobody has a right to do that but everybody has experienced something due to you know childhood situations the way you were raised the toxic the toxic energy that you were around through your parents, through friends, through relatives, whatever it may be. We all have some toxicity, some toxic energy that needs to be broken in order for us to uh, be aware and alert of different things. Whatever you weren't taught or whatever you were unnourished with as, as a child as far as your upbringing, you have to give that to yourself now. You have to take responsibility and give that and get and, and, and fix that yourself, not within someone else. Because as soon as you do that, you're headed for more toxic energy. You're you, you know, you get you get more and more um, low vibrational as time goes on. If you're outside of yourself looking for something to heal your toxic, you can get guidance. Yes, you can get guidance. 
But you have to take that goddess and put that as your own responsibility in order to heal. So be careful of the smooth talking men. Smooth it over. Make it sound good. Build you up on a pedestal so high to when you see them again after they, you know, finesse you and bring you in and put you in this sort of soul tie, codependence energy. They will bring you all the way back down. And you know us as women, you know, us women cannot handle too much rejection. A man can, but a woman can't. They're not built that way. We are nourishers. We are uh, caretakers. You know, we are that woman. That, that's how we are built to be. We are, we, we're not the in the men energy. We have men... Uh, masculine energy yes but it's not to the it's not to how what it may be portrayed for, to, for you to 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 be for it to be like somebody oh you got masculine energy and you know but you know we we kind of women <laughs> i mean if we if we have a, a a bunch of masculine energy and you know uh, we don't know how to utilize it we can become a toxic woman, period. And I'll get to that in a moment. So just be careful. You know, don't be so rushed. Don't be so desperate to get into somebody or you're so desperate to be with a man or have a man or what have you. I mean, time is on your side. You know, time is definitely on your side if you allow it. And I'm talking about spiritual time. I'm not talking about man's time. I'm not talking about watching the fucking clock. I'm not talking about anything outside of yourself. I'm talking about what's inside of you. I'm talking about your spiritual being, your mind, body, and spirit. That that it, 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 you know exists forever. The outer part of you, this shell of, of you, it, it's not forever lasting. It it go it dies and it goes away. It, it, it ashes to ashes, dust to dust. But your spirituality is an everlasting thing. It lasts for eternity. That's why it's so important for us to be here to learn these lessons. So when we enter into our eternity, our manifestation, whatever you manifest here, good or bad, you got to remember that th that that energy will go with you, whether it's good or bad. So that's what we're here for to learn to learn that lesson. Now, when it comes to relationships, what is the word relationship is where you relate to someone. You both relate to each other. There has to a relationship is like relating to each other. And when you're in an unhealthy um, relationship with a man and it's 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 not relatable you're not relating with each other something's off something's not right but you know you're so desperate that you just take and put that aside oh i'll put that aside i'll i'll, I'll change them see ego based we, we become ego based i'll change them i'll do this i'll do that that's an overextension of a, a masculine energy because like I said, men can handle disappointment more than women can. And that's just a fact. So stay in your lane, ladies. Stay in your lane. Know who you are. Before you open up your heart to a man that may, it is unhealthy. Listen to his words. Even if you have to go, you know, and, and write those things down every time they talk or say something to you, write it down. Because you will see a certain pattern that goes on and you can catch it before you go on, before you open your legs, before you open your heart. You can, you can, you know, you can stop that. You can stop it. And when you do stop that, you're really um, healing yourself. You know your worth. You know who you are. You, you have to protect this. What's yours? You have to protect it. You have to honor it. You have to love it. That is you. So be aware. Because men, an unhealthy man will use language 
to tie your soul up, to have you, you know, they'll build you up and then they'll, you know, and put you and give you this ride, this high ride. And then all of a sudden they will break you all the way down, slam you down right back to the ground after all this hype. And you're like, what? It makes you codependent to this toxic energy because, it, you know, it'll, you'll just because you're unhealthy in some way. And like I said, I'll get to that. That you're allowing this toxic, you'll allow this to happen over and over again. They'll be like, I'm sorry. You know, they'll say, I'm sorry. And, you know, and then put you on this high ride again. And then and then the next thing you know, they slamming you down again. And this will repeat itself as long as you allow it, ladies. As long as you allow it, it will continue and it will become a toxic entrapment. Understand what I'm saying? A real man, a healthy man, when he speaks, he will never make you feel small. Never, ever. Because he's healthy. He knows what he wants. He's introverted. He's into his spirituality. He's co he's co he's connected to the the supreme being, the Most High, the God in within him. He knows why he exists. He know why he lives. You feel me? He will speak greatly of you. He will never, ever, ever make you feel small. Never. You understand what I'm saying? Never. Now the characteristics the characteristics of a, a healthy man um he's a giver this person you know loves to give from the kindness of his heart you know just he because he knows who he is he's going he's going to be a giver and he's a great great listener this person will listen they're not going to overtalk you they're not going to you know make you feel like they know everything or know it all they're just going to listen. And on top of listening, they're going to support you. That's the characteristics of a healthy man. They're going to support you and they're going to listen and they're going to give. They're going to be a giver. And he's very much unguarded. Listen to the words that I'm saying to you. He's very much unguarded. Meaning that he doesn't have his guards up all the time. He wants you to be able to trust him. He don't have any secrets. He's not trying to hide on, uh, on, uh, behind anything. He's not trying to mask up on you. He's very a, a, a healthy man is unguarded, point blank. They're not. They don't. There's not no reason to have their guards up. Why? Because they're a healthy man. And I don't went over those characteristics, and I will stick it in there from time to time to keep you understanding this. He has a stable uh, disposition about himself. You, you don't understand what I'm saying? He's this person is very, this, this, the healthy man is very grounded. And every time you encounter this man, this healthy man, you will feel at ease. You will feel comfortable. You won't feel like you have to watch every little thing they do or, 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 you know, like an unhealthy man that you be around that you will sink into toxicity with this highs and lows. This person is always even flow. It's like their, their disposition is, is always the same. Very grounded, a very calm, cool disposition about themselves. You know, you'll ha that's the energy. That's their energy because they know who they are. So their energy is very uh, like uh, alluring, very alluring, very comfortable feeling, very healthy. You know, they don't exhibit or, or want to be involved or around drama. In other words, they're like I said, they're very introverted. I'm not saying that they don't like to be around people and things, but there's just certain people that they they that they would be around, which would be a, a another healthy man if they have any type of friendships or relationships, things like that. They ha they would be around a healthy man because that's all their energy would really pull in. Basically, that's the only energy that they will relate to. Relationships, you guys. 
You have to be relatable with one another in order to move forward. One can't be one way and one be the other because it's a clash. You ever heard that movie Clash of the Titans? That's what it will be. It will be a actually it will be a war between two people. If it's not rela a relatable relationship. Peep game, y'all. So, uh, back to <clears throat> some characteristics of uh, the healthy man. Again, they don't hold secrets. They're very uh, unguarded. They have a stable disposition. They don't like to be around drama nor create drama. He walks to walk and talks to talk. Or he talks to talk and walk to walk. Let me put it that way. It could go either way. When, when I'm saying that is that this person, whatever comes out of their mouth, they, they follow the footsteps in it. It's not just saying things and doing another. That's an unhealthy man who says things and does another. It is so, it is so obvious, but we used to, you know, we have those blinders on. We can't see. We so desperate. We want a man so much that we ignore all these things. And by ignoring all these things, we'll bring nothing but, but drama and trouble in your life. And then you have to continuously heal yourself. Life, you know, life goes by you. You waste time and energy in, in, in a toxic relationship or an unhealthy man. You always have to go back to, you know, uh, to the to the drawing board again. So, you know, the characteristics of the healthy man is he, you know, he he talks to talk and walks to walk. It's just that simple. You run into somebody that talks to talk and they don't walk the walk. It's time for you to take a walk. Before they get you into this unhealthy, toxic energy, all highs and then drop you down all the way back to the ground again. How many times can you take that? You have to keep picking yourself back up. And that's a hard task because we're dealing with insecurities here. Um, a healthy man uh, answers questions, you guys. And, 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 you know, going into a relationship, that's what you need to be doing. You got to stop ignoring the things that you ignore. You need to start paying attention to. It's time to flip the script here. Don't be so desperate to where you can't answer questions. That's how you find out who a person is. You have to ask questions. You got to know something. Knowing something is better than knowing nothing. Because that gives you, a, you know, that's your navigation. That helps you to navigate to, to your purpose and, and to a healthy uh, men's relationship. So this person will be, you know, when you ask questions, this person will be, ain't going to have no problem answering it. Remember, I'll go back to saying this man is unguarded. The healthy man is unguarded. They don't have nothing to hide. They don't have secrets. They, they are introverted. They are close to the most high. They are, you know, mind, body, and, and soul spiritually connected. They know who they are. They know what, what they live for. They know why they're here. And they're in love with womanhood. Period. Some of you look at this healthy man as like, you know, oh, oh, they, oh, they just too good to be true. Or, you know, oh, oh, no, they, that's not the type of man. You know, that's not what society says a man should be. A man should be a gigolo. A man should, you know, finesse with his words. A man should, you know, always, you know, be attracted to you, to you because, you know, you got, you know, you got your hoochie mama outfits on. You know, you got your titties hanging out and all that. If you, if you think you ain't going to get no attention that way, you're fucking wrong. You will. You will. But you got to understand what type of attention that you're getting. You have to understand who you are and what you're out here perceiving to men in general, ladies. If you want a healthy man, you have to conduct yourself like a healthy woman. thought that was on uh, my... Uh so, yeah... 
So, you know, when you ask questions, they're going to be, you know, more than happy to answer those questions for you. They are, they're going to be open with you. In, in other words, they're going to be open. Anybody that comes across, you know, or get offended by you asking them questions, certain questions, red flag, time to boost, time to move, try, time to, you know, hey, get it together and say like, oh, okay, don't, don't blow it aside. Okay. You know, hey, I've done it too. I've done it too. That's why I'm able to speak on this. I've done it. Don't 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 blow little shit. You think it's little, but it will turn into a big ball of toxic toxic energy if you keep fucking with it. If you keep ignoring the little signs, the, the flags. You see, it's it, you know, an unhealthy man always gives you. They throw, especially the one the the, the nice talker, the good talker, sound good and all that shit put you all up on a pedestal all the time those are the ones you want to watch out for those are the ones that you need to have red flags flying all around your damn head seriously because if they put you up to set you up to fall to bring you back down you better hit the road jack and you better hit the road really really fast So with the healthy man, he's a, a good long term. You know, he has you 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 know he has good long term uh, relationships with with other men. He has good long term relationships with women, and if they've been in relationships with other women, they have been long. They've been long term. His friendships are long term. His relationships were long term. That's where you come in with these questions. You know, how long have you been in a relationship with your ex and things like that, you know, with their exes in your life? You ain't got to be, you know, questioning and questioning, you know, to like, they, they like, what? That's a lot. You know, just, just a, a main, just a, a, a main question. Just like, you know, oh, how long you been, you know, with uh, your ex? Like that. And then, you know, they're going to, and a, a, a healthy man is going to tell you. They might tell you more than what you want to hear, be honest with you. That shows the honesty of a person. That shows they're not hiding anything. You know they. You know th that. That's these are. Th I'm just giving you the characteristics of a healthy, healthy, good man. You guys. Not. I'm not going to keep you here long. I'm just just putting this out there, and I hope this helps some some people out here. Okay, so we going over again. Okay, the characteristics of a healthy man. He's a giver. He's a listener. He supports you. He's unguarded. He don't have secrets. He has a stable disposition about himself. He does not engage or have drama around him. He walks his, he walks his walk and he talks his talk and walks the walk behind it. He answers questions. He has a good long-term friendships and relationships, period, point blank. If you have to write this down, write it down. No problem. That's how we learn. Okay, so now we talked about the healthy man. What a healthy man consists of. In a, in, in a short, you know, little package here, you know, it, you, you can put in what you need to put in by these, you know, little bullet points that I'm giving you here okay now we're going to talk about the broken man okay remember we have the healthy man the broken man and the toxic man and that's all the fuck we got there's there's no more other thing here that you have to go through and I'm giving you bullet points on this so when you're dealing with a broken man um, they're men that they are men that has gone through some some challenges in their life, you know that that they really haven't resolved. Okay, they they they've been challenged. They went through a lot of challenges in life. Okay, he's um, he has a lot of a lot of conflicting thoughts. This person's mind, you know, when you they're they're all over the place. May I say, you know, the broken man is all over the place. You'll be able to tell this and see these signs. It's like they could be one way one day and another way another day. This person is broken, pure point blank. And, and you know they they 
they have these challenges and issues that they have not resolved yet. Again, a lot of conflicting thoughts. He has a lot of conflicting thoughts within his mind. His emotions are aligned with, or are, his emotions are not aligned with spirit as the healthy man is. His is not aligned with spirit. He's not aware. He's not connected mind, body, and spirit. As I said, he's been through a lot of stuff in life and he is conflicted. The broken man is conflicted. The broken man is all over the place. The broken man don't know whether he's coming or going. And that's the energy that you're going to experience with them. He is broken, ladies and gentlemen. Because you can flip the scripts on this too. We're just going to give an all in all broken women, broken men. You can flip it. Because they, it's the same energy. If, if they're broken, if they're toxic, or if they're healthy. That goes for women as well. So men, you can take this and flip the script. All right? So I ain't got to make another video. <laughs> so the broken man, he is, you know, he's kind of, he's out of space out of sync with his spiritual spiritual self. He don't he's not connected with his spiritual self. Nor is he connected with his woman. This 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 broken man has always got apologies. I don't know, you know, y'all need to leave some comments and help me to under you know, help me to know if you guys are understanding this. Of course we do. Of course we do. This, this broken man is always in apology mode. He always got to apologize for something. Peep game on that, y'all. The broken man is always apologizing. Remember, I want you to remember this. The broken man will always be out to break someone else. And that's a fact. He's a broken man and broken men or women will break you. They're broken, so they're going to break you, period. They have issues here. They're not, uh, they're not connected to their spiritual self. They don't know who they are. They've been through problems and, and, th and, and things like that that they, um, that they never resolve. This is a person who's carrying around, you know, energy that uh, from the past or, you know, whatever happened to them and not heal themselves from it. And just, this is a person, a, a, a broken man will jump from one relationship to another. And that's a fact. Because they're so broken. You know, after they break somebody, they got to go break somebody else. You're not, you're not, you're not no good to them anymore. They done broken you down. Till they're where they can't break you anymore. So they go to the next vis victim. Understand this. And you know when they break you down like this. Because they're broken they'll break you. It creates dysfunction in the relationship. And we all know that's what it adds up to. Dysfunction. It becomes a challenge. He becomes a challenge in the relationship. It's not even a relationship. Because there's no relations here. You're not related to one another. His ambitions in life is like all to hell. He doesn't have any. Okay. The broken man doesn't have any because he, he hasn't healed himself. He's not connected spiritually. He, the broken man adheres to, you know, uh, the, 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 to, to what society's way of thinking is. You know, in other words, the broken man has an outdated thinking. They're outdated in their thinking. You know, the broken man will try to uphold this big and bad uh, exterior about themselves, okay? Like nothing hurts them, nothing does nothing to them. You know, that's the insecurities that they haven't healed with inside themselves so they put on a mask most broken men will put on a bat mask they'll act like nothing hurts them they'll act like they don't need no help from nobody this this is a broken person this is what they hide behind 
They act like nothing is ever wrong. They walk around with this macho man syndrome attitude. You know, and that's all due to them, you know, with this old outdated thinking, with this social conditioning. Um, a broken man, they don't allow themselves to be in harmony with a woman. It's that simple. They don't. They're not in harmony with their self. So how could they be in harmony with you? Think about it, ladies. Time to think now. He has low self-esteem. We know that. And he has low self-esteem and he has insecurities that has not been, that's been ignored. They've been ignored and they haven't been fixed. Point blank. And a broken man in, in this state of toxic mindset will be jealous of his woman or women for no reason at all y'all because they're broken they're disconnected from spirit they're the opposite of the healthy man just take the healthy man characteristics and turn it around that's what a broken man is yes they will be jealous of you i know that sounds a little shocking a man being jealous of a woman or vice versa remember i saw i had to do the woman's video there's women out here that's just unhealthy as well, just like this with the same fucking characteristics and energy that they carry around. They will be jealous of you. And, and, you know, a toxic man will be jealous of you. I'm sorry, a broken man, they'll be jealous of you for no reason at all. And the reason, you know, it, 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 because he doesn't feel good about himself. If somebody doesn't feel good about himself, what the fuck make you think they're going to feel good about you? That is the question here. And I want y'all to put that down in the comment. If they don't feel good about themselves and you notice that they don't feel good about themselves and you're sticking around this person, what make you think that they feel good about you? You know that they don't because if they don't, it's, the fact is, and it's simple, they don't feel that way about themselves. And that's a period, point blank right there. You know, he, he's also so broken that he, he doesn't know how to love a woman. So, you know, a broken man, I'm going to tell you right now, point blank, if you're looking for love from a broken man, if you feel that you're going to fix a broken man, if you feel all these type of energies, you it's time to check yourself because you ain't going nowhere with this one. This one needs to have some type of, you know, um, help. From this person needs to go with inside themselves and connect themselves to spirit and find out who they are. This person needs healing, no doubt. They're not going to have healing being around your silly ass, trying to thinking that you're going to help this person, thinking that you're going to make a, a change in this person. You're just going to make it worse. It's what you call enablement. I know y'all don't want to hear this. I know you don't, but it's the truth. It's the truth. You're enabling a person thinking in your mind that you can fix them or change them. That's enabling a person because what you, you are enabling, you're putting energy into something that's not a relationship. This, this, this masculine, this, this, this man is broken, period. There's nothing you can do about that. The best thing which you can do about it, ladies and gentlemen, is leave it alone. Leave it alone, and then you'll have it move. Either move the fuck on, or you know, you know. Most of the time, it will. It, you know, most of the time, or it will help this person want to heal themselves. If you stop enabling this, some of them will just jump to another person to get this enabled and this ego trip. But some of them will help themselves. Whether you move on. Or whatever it may be. The best thing for you to do for a person like this is leave them the fuck alone. No nothing with this person like this. A broken person, you cannot fix them. You're not a fucking psychologist. You're not a, any of those things. And if you are and you're, you're a psychologist and all, you're in a relationship like this, like, you know what? You need to find a degree or something in something else. 
because you got other people that you have to help heal or you know help them with their wound but you're in a relationship like this you you in the wrong fucking studies and shit you done got you done you done got hold of you you just somebody who who knew somebody who knew somebody and they put you up in the office and your shit is all fucking broken okay just keeping it 100 for some out there you broken but you trying to heal, you got a uh, uh, you got a position in life as a work where you're trying to heal other people. How the fuck does that equal out? I, I, how does it equal out? Equal out? It doesn't. It doesn't. And you are not supposed to be putting yourself in a position position to try to help other people, and you got issues. That's a fact. That's a fact. You have to be healthy in order to help unhealthy people. You have to know what the fuck you doing. Because you don't get connected to people like this if you're trying to help other people. You don't. You don't do it. I'm talking about everybody. I don't give a fuck what it is. It got something to do with people and helping them. You can't be in this energy and trying to help or change other people. It, it, it's impossible. It's impossible. Okay, moving on. Oh boy, where was I at? What was I thinking? Lord, have mercy now. This bird tell me. Okay, they had that outdated thinking. Broken men will try to uphold the big man syndrome. Nothing hurts like nothing hurts them. They feel they it's that macho macho man shit. It's socially driven. It's a social conditioning that they uphold. You know, they feel like they can't cry. Oh, oh, society say I can't cry. I got to be this big macho man. I can't show my feelings. I got to be this big macho man. That's society conditioning. And that society conditioning could have been brought down from their parents as well. That's probably where they learned it from. Like I said, the broken man don't allow himself to be in harmony with any woman. His self-esteem and insecurities has not been nourished or fixed. A broken man in this state of toxic mindset will be jealous of a woman for no reason at all. I just figured out we'll go over that again. He didn't feel good about himself, period. He don't. He is also so broken that he doesn't know how to love a woman. A broken man will always try to hide that he, that he's broken. Wearing a mask in other words. They'll put up a mask. They'll put up a front. They'll, you know, they'll try to disguise the shit. You would, you know, and if you, you know, stay involved with someone like this with these type of traits, which, which is a broken man or vice versa, a broken woman. You would have to feed their ego all the fucking time throughout the whole unrelationship. I'm going to call it unrelationship with these these type type of men or women. They're very unhealthy. They're not a relationship. It is a fucking toxic uh, situation, period. No matter how you try to, you know, word it or be it, that's exactly what it is. It's two people, you know, on an ego trip. That's all it is. If you're around somebody like this or in a relationship with someone like this. You both are ego tripping. Sometimes for some of you, it's just, you know, an awakening of what, you know, what you didn't think of before you got into this. For some of you, it's just that you just didn't know. You just didn't pay attention. This, you know, this is a mad, mad learning lesson for a lot of us out here. It really is. So, what's going to burn you out in this relationship with a toxic man or woman? You you have to feed their ego so much to where, you know, you're not even going to think much of yourself. It's almost like you stepped out of the relationship, but you're you're still there. So, you know, emotionally, you're not there. They done drained you of your emotions because you had to give it all to them. Nothing is ever going to be good enough for this broken man or woman. Nothing is ever going to be uh, good enough for no matter how much you give them, no matter how much love you give them, no matter how much attention you give them, it's never going to be good enough. So leave. Leave them alone. 
get healthy within yourself so you can attract a healthy man or woman. And do it fast because it, it, once they break you down or once you allow them, because you know this is talking about enablement here. If you're sticking around a person like that with these type of traits, you, you're still hanging in there. You're you're enabling, you know, so it's, it's your fault too. Let's not get this twisted here. Let's not be biased here. It is what it is. You're helping this person be the person that they are instead of helping them by leaving their fucking asses alone. Period. You want to help somebody, you love somebody that's like this, it's best to walk away and keep your energy up. Keep yourself right. So you have to feed this person's ego all the time due to their brokenness. Brokenness. You'll wear yourself out doing this too because ego, to, you know, because you have to feed his ego all the time with this broken man or woman. You have to constantly feed their ego while you're being unnourished, as I just said. You're not even being nourished yourself. That's what I'm saying. You're going to, you know, you're going to be at a state to where you don't even know who the fuck you are and what you're supposed to be doing. You're going to lose hope and faith within yourself trying to cater to this person that's broken that you'll never, you'll never, never heal, that you're enabling here that is never going to work out. It's never going to work out, y'all. It's how many times it, I'm going to have to say it. It's never going to work. So leave. A broken man has a lot of secrets as well, y'all. You know they got a lot of secrets. A lot of things to hide. A lot of stuff they ain't telling you. That's when we go back, revert back to, you know, the healthy man. If you're asking questions and they not getting offended by it, you got a healthy man. Like I said, they may give you more information than what you w want to get. But, but you have to settle when you get into a relationship you have to come to that point where you won't have to start asking questions say fuck that shit because it's going to save you your energy your time and, and your heart period it's going to save you all of that you'll be able to move on without a, without a problem without this attachment so we know you know the broken man or the woman has a lot to hide they have a lot of secrets they got a lot of fucking baggage y'all and you hang around this and enable this you gonna find that the fuck out the fucking hard way and that's a fact you all this because all what goes on in the dark always comes out to the light it never fails y'all should understand this that's why you shouldn't be that's why you shouldn't fear you shouldn't fear asking somebody something that you need to know your curiosity and if they're not telling you god damn it i'm telling you they got secrets or if they get offended by your questions or try to change the subject they're hiding something red flag on the motherfucking play here y'all they're trying to hide something they got secrets The broken man tries to maintain a good image of himself. That, again, we're reverting back to wearing that mask. They put on a mask. They put on this, this mask and try to disguise who they fucking really are. You know, and, and, and a broken man always gets around other men who are broken as well. They hide, they put on this mask, you know, and try to put up this good image. So they, what they do, they're in, and, and what they do, they hide behind other broken men, okay? They, they hide behind something like another alpha man, okay? You know, macho men, in other words. They be around men that like to brag a lot. They always bragging about whatever it is they want to brag. Oh, I got this, or you know, I'm 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 this and I'm that, and you know, you know, I I know I, I'm a, I'm a womanizer. I play this woman. I've done it with this woman. I've done it with that woman. You know, just just outwardly, they hang around these type of men. That's how you know that you're with a broken man. Watch their company that they keep. Watch the company that they, that they keep. That's going to tell you because they'll be these men will be like uh, very vulgar. They'll say anything. 
about their personal life. They'll talk about their woman. You know, th th these type of men hide behind other men like they are. This like they are. Like they said, birds of a feather flock the fucking gather here. That's what this is. Notice their friends or whoever they hang out with. And if they... If, the, if their friends is talking shit like this out in the open about you know their private business this person this person is broken this person is broken this person might not you know do those things or say those things like those like those uh like the people that they try to hide hide behind but they do those things that those that these that these people that they hanging around says they do the same thing they just act, they just put on this image that they don't, but they do. Because why are they attracting and listening to this type of nonsense? Because they are that person. They are these other macho macho men that brag and, you know, and talks about women, hate women, you know, brag about things, people, places, and things. And a broken man also gets easily offended. So if you be around somebody and you're talking and they get offended by it real easy, like damn near anything. Red flag on the play, ladies and gentlemen. Red flag on the play, please. Red flag. Ain't no sense in nobody being that sensitive to where, you know, things that come up, they get all offended. Almost acting like childlike, okay? You hurt their feelings too easy or they their feelings get hurt too easy. For over damn, you know, for, for nothing really. Very sensitive. A broken man is very, very sensitive. They're in their, um, they're in their, um, they're, they're, they're riding on their feminine energy. They're almost like a woman. And that's why a broken man always have aggressive women in their life because because they're so broken and they're so sensitive and things. So they allow they allow a, a, a aggressive women, a woman that has more masculine or damn near all masculine to come in and run their show. Tell them what to do, how to do it. You know, they're easily like they're like that. They're, they're passive aggressive. They're aggressively passive about shit like that, okay? A lot of them are always have an aggressive woman that they have around them to run the fucking show because they don't know how. And I'm going to tell you, a woman that comes in and being aggressive like that and showing all her man, she's taking care of every motherfucking thing. You best believe it. You better believe it. They taking care of everything. And But you know what? That's going to end up draining her in the long run because, see, this was an ego trip for her. She attracts... You know, she attracts these broken men so she can have total control over them. And they do that, but for only for a while. You know, for a while, it starts to die out. It starts to, it starts, it starts a slow damn fucking, you know, sinking of the, the fire. You know, the water starts to come in and put that fucking fire out completely. Eventually, completely. Because this woman going to have a change of heart. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm doing entirely too damn much. And then she's going to turn on this man. And she's going to start... She's going to start telling... You know, degrading him. She's going to start making him feel bad. She's going to start, you know, in, in front of anybody. She's going to be able to say things in front of anybody to this man. Because he's a pussy. Period. He's a pussy. Let's just keep it all the way 100. The unhealthy man is a pussy. They're sensitive. They're almost like all women in their way. I'm not saying they gay or anything like that. I'm just saying their their energy is all woman. And a, and a, a woman that comes in with this ego or pride or whatever or thinks she can fix things can do this for a while but then it burns out she burns herself out dealing with this type of person and then she becomes a target then she becomes she's unhealthy and then she got to go out here and seek another one and so does this broken man the, he, he got to go out and seek another one that's going to allow somebody to come in rule their life Tell them what to do. Ta tell you know, make them pay the bills. Make them do everything while they sit back and chill. And then that woman gonna turn on his ass. Okay, 
to the whole to the public and in their and their, in the household and the children and everything else. They totally degrade this this man, this broken man here. And that's facts. That's facts. Uh a broken man is always suspicious too. Like they 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 suspicious about every fucking thing, like everything. I could give a whole lot of examples on that, but you know, let's just take that as a bullet point. One of the bullet points on a broken man. They very, very suspicious of everything. You know, paranoid, paranoid, very passive aggressive. He's a type of person. This broken. Man or woman is the type of person that will say yes when they really mean no. You you get me here? Y- y'all got to, you know, point. This is some serious shit. They, they little bullet points, but they mean a lot. It can save your heart. It can save you your sexual energy. It can save you from a lot of things here. Just these little little bullet points. And then and, and, and when you get around this per, a, a person and you're introducing yourself or you're coming together, masculine and feminine, you have to pick up on the you have to keep keep your you gotta keep your legs closed and your ears motherfucking open. And you got to ask questions. You avoid those things, you are in for a crash the crash of your you're a fucking crash dummy. Alright? You're gonna be a crash dummy. Period. Just like this broken man. So, uh, you know, again, like I said, they're very passive aggressive. When, you know, if this person says says no, <laughs> they really mean yes. And if they say yes, they really mean no. That's that passive aggressiveness. That's that insecurity. That's that broken man or woman. A, a, a broken man is also intimidated by others' success. Yeah, they're intimidated by that. Whether it be a man or a woman, you know, a broken man is intimidated by anybody's excess. Anybody that's doing better than them, male or female, they're intimidated by them and they are jealous. All right? They're jealous. Believe it or not, they're jealous. So in this case, you would have to, you know, diminish yourself to make him happy. So yeah, You'll have to lower your standards to make this person happy. You have to put down what you are successful at to make this person happy. Because if you don't, this person's not going to be happy. Period. You have to keep that in mind. Would Do you want to sacrifice for, uh, yourself for a broken man or a broken woman? Would you want to sacrifice yourself for that? Because, you know, if you do, be ready for the ride of your motherfucking life. Be ready for the, hopefully, be a lesson that you'll never forget as you move forward from this person. Because it's not going to work. It ain't going to work. You don't believe me? Just try it. Some of you are try, tried it. Some of you are still trying this, this mess. You are. Some of you are young and you're just going through, you know, and maybe this can help you to break out whatever these conditionals, you know, the conditions that has been installed in you. You can, this video can help you be ahead of the game as you are going on in life and experiencing life. But all you ones that are older and been through this shit probably a few few times as myself and you're not over it yet, there's a problem here. There's something that needs to be fixed here. There's some awareness. There's some eye-opening experience that need to happen here. And some of you are probably broken all the way down from this type of, of, of man energy here or vice versa, women, woman. You're broken totally down to who you don't even know yourself. And you need some type of help or guidance to help you to get you on the back on the right path of your of, of who you are and why you're here to be involved with a healthy man or woman. And that's all I'm going to say about the broken man. That's it. Now we're going to get to the toxic man. Now this is this is a big one right here when you're dealing with someone who is toxic. This is a broken man. Okay, this is somebody who could be fixed. If they want to. This is a person that can be fixed if people stop enabling them. 
or they'll stay broken. And if they stay broken and refuse to fix themselves, then they graduate. They graduate. Yeah, they graduate to a motherfucking toxic man. They take it to another level. They become toxic if they don't fix themselves at this broken man state. Period. Or broken woman state. Period. All right, let's move on to the toxic man. The toxic man is a man that has internalized their pain. Y'all, y'all, you feel me? Y'all feel me? They internalized their pain. They brought it inward. They got their pain and they internalized it. And it turned them into a social path, y'all. The toxic man is a social path. They take their toxicity from one relationship to the next, to the next, to the next. It's a constant, ongoing thing. That's sociopathism. And it's turned him into a woman hater or a man hater. Point blank. That's toxicity. They are the toxic man or woman slash woman. They've internalized their pain and that's all they're going to inflict on people is pain. A person in pain puts other people in pain. You dig? The, 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 look, that bird digs. That bird understand. Listen. See? Nature understands shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you know... <laughs> This toxic man internalizes their pain. And once they've internalized their pain, oh boy, whoever comes around them is going to feel that pain as well. No doubt. And they're not going to give two fucks about it. Because they have internalized their pain now. They're a social path. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna keep this is it. They done embedded that shit, that pain, they've embedded it with inside themselves and turned into a social path, aka the nerdy angry man. You know, you would look at them as being a nerd. Them motherfuckers is angrier than motherfucker. They just just they another, they putting mask on to try to disguise it. And they hate fucking women. And if it's a woman, you hate the fucking man. And that's just the way it is. And they hate the motherfucking world. You ever been around somebody who just talks negative all the time about everything, everybody, themselves, their parents, their children, their everything they talk about is hate, hate, hate. Women, they talk about women, they hate. And I just broke it down. Why they do? They don't internalize their pain. And it's set in their heart. And they don't have a motherfucking soul. They don't feel shit. All right? understand this they don't feel a goddamn thing and what they're setting out to do is to destroy you and that's no motherfucking lie you better get real they're gonna destroy you and they're gonna do it by any means necessary whether they have to play the good guy for a while if or woman remember this male or female but i'm mainly saying the man because a lot of you women are subsess subsess subject to these or will be so you need to know a lot of you good women out there okay a lot of you good women a lot of you good men are success or coming to or know this especially in these days and time where a lot of people are narcissistic and toxic and they don't give a fuck about nobody but themselves that's a top that's this toxic male or female here he sets out to destroy he hates women they act like a fucking nerd or they are nerdy, but they're a nerdy, angry person, period. And they're going to set out to destroy women by any means necessary or men by any means necessary. These people are dangerous. Social or social paths are dangerous. You need to look that up. I think there's different levels of them, but I'm just giving you the basics. OK, you can look all this shit up. Okay, okay, let me give you some uh, some evidence or some characteristics of the toxic man. Number one, he will throw the woman or man under the motherfucking bus right quick, right quick. Let me give you an example. Um, let's say the toxic man, you know, broke up with, 
with a, with a, with a woman. She was a good woman, or whether treated treat her good, treat him good. But he just saw something else that he wanted. He, you know, went after that and said, "Fuck," you know. Like I said, they don't have no heart. They don't have no compassion, no empathy, no shit for you. You must realize this. If you think they do, you're motherfucking wrong. Like I said, they will trick you in many ways to make you th to try to throw you off here. Y'all gotta be aware. These some motherfucking mind games. You got to be aware of the mind games, okay? That's what social paths are. They play mind motherfucking games. That's their M.O. That's what they do. So, and then when they get with some th that other person or, you know, friends around them, like, oh, I see you got another woman or something like that. And then they'll start talking about you like a dog because they want to make themselves look good. Remember, it's all about their self and no fucking body else. They don't have no empathy for you. You thought this person loved you and cared about you. They could give two fucks about you because if, if you haven't heard, okay, you might want to, you know, if you know one of his friends, they will tell you, they will tell you. That this motherfucker threw you under the fucking bus and, and made it look like you was something wrong with you. And like you did some shit to them. That's what the fucking, that's what's really happening, y'all. And if you in a toxic relationship, you either you get out on your own and it's fucking going to blow the fuck up. I'm serious about that whatever you want to waste your time keep on keeping on because but you know eventually it's going to come to an end fuck it it's going to it, it has no it has no stability to it it has no no groundedness to it it has no 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 purpose no meaning no nothing is it is just a a, a a shell ain't shit in it there's nothing in it there's no potential in a toxic motherfucking man or woman y'all it ain't going no fucking where Okay, you know, they'll throw you under the bus. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, they'll throw you under the fucking bus in a heartbeat. Remember, this person has internalized their pain. So if they internalize their pain, let's say, you know, like the, uh, the good man or, you know, the healthy man. You know, he's spiritual inside. He's connected. He's grounded. It's, this toxic man is the opposite, just along with the broken one. But the broken one can be unbroken. You know, they can be healed, you know, if they if they stop at a certain point in their life before they become the toxic. Because broken men, if not healed, will become, will evolve into the toxic man. The toxic man is more dangerous than the broken man. All right? More dangerous. More dangerous, y'all. So be careful. Um, yeah, they'll throw you under the bus and this is, you know, the toxic man ain't nothing but a fucking punk. Just like a woman. If it's a woman, like I said, y'all can flip this. They're nothing but a big ass punk. That's all they really are. All mouth and shit and, and nothing to back it up. No substance, no nothing because they're fucking empty inside. The bitches are empty. Okay? There's nothing there. It's a shell. They've internalized their fucking pain. So they're going to do nothing but distribute pain and that's that energy is weak as fuck. And if you enable this person and stick around this person, you're you're in, you're in for some pain. You're going to suffer pain with this person's pain because that's what the fuck they do. They're very very selfish. Okay, they're very self-absorbed. They think about nothing but their self. They're always a fucking mystery, man. You can't never figure these motherfuckers out. Why? Because they internalize their pain and they're always out here trying to um, manipulate more pain that they can throw because they need to have people. They have to feed people in order to keep to keep this toxic energy up with inside themselves because they have they they they've totally lost it. They've totally internalized this pain and that's where it lies with inside themselves. So they need other energies, almost like a vampire needs blood, okay? When they run out of blood or whatever, they got to go get some more and fucking suck the living hell out of it until it's dead. This is the same fucking scenario with a toxic person, male or female. They're a mystery, and I'm gonna tell you one thing. They, you know, and they are consistent. They're never consistent about anything. Okay, never consistent. They could do something and say something, and it be it is not consistent within them. Okay, and 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 I'm I'm gonna let y'all know this too. They doing that on purpose, 
sociopaths are very manipulative okay they doing it on purpose I told you they are ex they, they're putting their pain on you they're inflicting their pain on you they're being inconsistent and shit and mystery mistress miss being a mystery on motherfucking purpose they're doing it on purpose okay to manipulate you to get your you all fucked up to deliver that pain to you <sighs> a toxic man is is not relatable at all they're just, they're not relatable They're not relatable. What I'm trying to mean by they're not relatable, they're like, they're transaction. They're a transaction type of person. And what, okay, let me use this as an example that they're a transactional person. They're not a relatable person or a relationship person. When it comes to love, they're a transaction person. Meaning this, if they give something to you, you have to give them something in return. It's not out of the kindness of their heart. They not do, they're not they're not the uh, healthy man. They're toxic. You remember that. They're not doing nothing out of the kindness of their heart. They make transactions. They don't make love re, uh, transactions. They make transactions. They are not relatable to the heart. They're, they're shut the fuck down. You understand what I'm saying? So anything they do is a transaction to them. Males or females, when they do something, it's a transaction. It's like, let me give you an example. It's like somebody, you know, going out here and finding a a, um, a prostitute, and they paying them money to get to get what they need to get from them. That's what a toxic man does, regardless of why I'm saying they do that type. Some could, but that's how they look at the relationship or unrelationship. I'm saying unrelationship. That's how they look at it because they what? They don't have, they embody pain. So they deliver pain. And whatever they do is a transaction. It has nothing to do with their feelings or emotion because they fucking, ha ha they fucking have none. So everything they do is a transaction. Remember that there's no feelings or emotions behind it. God damn it. There's none. The toxic, the toxic man or woman does not have empathy. He will never feel sorry for you. That's another thing y'all got to understand. I don't care <laughs> because this man's delivering pain. Okay, this man is like in the tarot deck is the fucking devil. All right, period, point blank. I'm just breaking the fucking devil down for y'all asses, okay? So you know that's what the devil does, okay? That's a toxic fucking man or motherfucking woman, period. He won't care for you because I already done told you they done shut down emotionally by bringing it, it you know, in, 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 by attaching this pain that they carry around within it with inside themselves. So what you what make you think they they going to care about you? They're not going they don't give two shits about you. Like I just said, he's not they don't have no feelings for you at all. Or for anyone else at that fact. Like I said, you know, the devil is, you know, very toxic. So they know how to, you know, they know how to be this type of chameleon. They they could be, it just depends on the environment or who they around. They know how to, you know, use all these different faces. They know how to blend in. That That's what the devil does in order to distribute their pain or their toxicity. They have to know how to blend in first. Okay. Peep game, y'all. Okay. He don't have no fucking feelings for you or anyone. A toxic man is very self-indulgent. A.K.A. fucking selfish as fuck. All they think about is their self. Not you. Not their family. Not their cousins. Not the... No fucking body. I'm telling you now, a toxic man or woman slash woman is very self consumed and is he it, it, they're a they're an emotional roller you are going on emotional ro you're asking 
the fucking go on an emotional roller coaster with this toxic male or female when you get involved or stay involved in it. And it becomes, it, be, it, it it's so toxic to what, it, and what I'm trying to say with a toxic person is very poisonous and dangerous and they, they don't have no fucking feelings. They have no problem of bringing you the fuck down. Okay. So what I'm saying about this, if you stay involved with a toxic man or woman, they're bringing you to be, to be a toxic person too, because what's going to happen is you're going to, you're going to enable their pain just like a vampire so you're going to enable their pain right and then they're going to make you like them just like vampires do they make they make normal people a vampire when they bite them and suck the fucking living life out of them if they re, they reincarnate that they come back as as a vampire just like the fuck them and that's what this is that's what this is y'all look at a vampire movie and tell me this what i said to you is 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 the truth a vampire has no motherfucking heart, okay? They they go around and they seek to, you know, inflict pain on other people. They don't give a fuck how you feel. They don't care if you cry. They don't give a fuck about none of that. Long as they get their supply, they're happy. And then when they're drained of all your supply, you're fucking just like them and they don't need you no more. They're going to go to the next fucking victim. And that's just the plain fact and simple. And I'm done with the toxic male or female. That is it. That's it in a nutshell. I don't know how else simple it can be. A child that come out of their mother's womb can understand the words that are coming out of my motherfucking mouth. So, in closing, you guys, and if you're a woman slash man who is dealing with the broken man or the toxic man, if you haven't grown past the exterior shit like looks, swagger, lust, money, and, and you're not looking deep before you leap, you're gonna you're gonna drown every single time. Let me let me put that to you again. If you're not looking deep before you leap, you're going to drown every single time, god damn it. Every time. Not once, not twice, every fucking time you're in this energy with these, these particular men or women with these characteristics, okay? And until you heal the broken woman inside of you or the broken man inside of you, toxic woman within yourself, when you heal, then you become attracted to the healthy man or healthy woman who is the divine masculine or the divine feminine. I hope that helped you. I try I'll just try to break it down without all the unnecessary bullshit. Okay. Um, leave your comments. Share the video. You guys, I love each and every one of you. I will be back with more <clears throat> short things about, you know, you know, the, the male and the female energy. We, you know, we got to get this thing together. We got to be aware of things now. We can no longer keep our eyes closed and our hearts closed and shit and then end up being a, a fucking vampire. You're going to be a vampire to the fucking vampire. You're going to end up being nothing if you don't release yourself from these energies. Period. If you don't believe me and you're in one now, watch where you end up being at one of these PowerPoints that I done already said. And actually all of them. You're going to be in all of them. You're going to end up being a, a vampire just like them. You're going to be hurt and broken just like them. And then you're going to go around hurting and breaking other people just like this toxic person has done. Or the broken person if you don't heal. So I want you guys to have a wonderful day. I appreciate your time, your energy. And um, I'll get with you on the next video. I'm getting ready to go, you know, pamper my motherfucking self. I ain't waiting for nobody to pamper me. I ain't waiting for nobody to invite me. I ain't waiting for shit. Simply love getting out there and do her. Period. Whatever makes me happy at this point in time is what the fuck I'm going to do. And I'm not waiting for anybody to do it for me. 
I have set myself free, you guys. And that's what I'm on here trying to let, uh, want you guys to do. Set yourself motherfucking free. Do you, boo-boo, until you become or get into a healthy relationship. Other than that, don't look for shit. Don't look for shit because you're going to find what the fuck you're looking for. And you're going to be heartbroken about it as well. And you're going to sit back and say, I wasted all my motherfucking time on this energy that I know got there because I ignored the signs that I've been telling y'all about in this. I've been ignoring the fucking signs and not taking precautions and I got my fucking feeling hurt and you have to blame nobody but yourself because now that you now you know spirit done already gave you the knowledge now through me and through other people too that you hear this from that this should not be going on in your life and nobody's to blame but yourself so you know step out right now and heal yourself and get the moving on with your life because these people women or men as I done pointed out to you they, they, they accept the, the, the health you want to get the healthy man and, it, it, and you can see it wasn't that many bullet points to get a healthy man it was obvious that's the whole thing when we don't ask certain things you 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 uh you you throw the obvious out the window but all this other shit comes in that you didn't ask anything about or look for or in the qualities that you were so fast about and you and you know and you just threw your fucking time and energy away some of you become toxic your fucking self from hanging in there with these type of people but you can heal you can change if you want to period so you guys have a good day i'm gonna go get my nails done i'm gonna get my feet did i'm gonna you know probably go to a movie i'm gonna do something and i don't need nobody else to do it for me i'm gonna do it my motherfucking self y'all be blessed i love you take care